Did you find a zip tie? Did you find a zip tie? Yeah, he did. So this is Sam's first walk on tarmac. We were just here at Tractor Supply. And yes, before, uh, before putting him down out here, it's 50 degrees. <laughs> so he's not gonna burn his little pads or anything. But he's getting, uh, he's getting a chance to go from the wilds of our backyard to an industrial setting. So look at that, you found some grass. You can always find wild things out here, can't you? So Sam's doing pretty good so far. But this was his first outing. I know, more zip ties. Those things grow wild out here or what? What's the deal with that? What's the deal with that? It's bizarre. New ones too. Nice, look at that. You found a mountain to climb in the tractor supply parking lot. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah. Good job. That's a pretty good sized, uh, <laughs> pretty good sized climb for, for a porta pet. What do you think, Sam? Huh? What do you think? Sam didn't even know what we were getting at TSC. Now he does. Oh, he's inside because he's upset with jail. And in preparation for what's coming next, I gotta, uh, I gotta take out the block. So what my plan is for this, hey man. Yep, I'm going back in. I was, okay. Hold on one second. Now I'm getting around you. All right. So my plan is for that. We're ditching the crate. He's just going to have this open area in here. And I'm going to move the doorway for this thing, which we don't use anyway. So I'm going to move the doorway over to there so we can close the dog flap instead of having to take that plastic thing off each time. What do you think? What do you think? So I will need to put a step here. This is almost twice the distance as that rock. Uh, it didn't make a huge difference to Ted because Ted had way longer legs. So this little guy can definitely do it, but I'm gonna put something in here just to bridge the gap. And uh, when we get ready to use this, we'll be able to, what do you think? Not to mention he'll have a little window to the world. a crate behind it but you get the idea what do you think huh what do you think yeah you still got your crate here but it doesn't have a door on it anymore and now I've taken this crate flipped it upside down well not crate but the enclosure flipped it upside down moved the hinges to the other side so that it doesn't have any down pressure on it and then we'll be able to swing this open, lock it with one of those tabs. And once I get something on the outside, the man will be able to uh, leave. Ugh. And then from there, he'll be able to go outside to his new environment, which we're gonna make a little bit bigger when we get some more, uh, more pieces of it tomorrow all right so because the uh the steps going into the dog door are too tall i built this super heavy duty set of steps from cutoffs as you can see uh that's probably not going to be a problem for a six pound door oh yeah because mary was worried about him falling off the side i built him an ada compliant railing <laughs> so once he's, once he's not afraid of that, then he'll be able to use this. 
and then come outside here on his own. Uh, thankfully it's summer and we can leave that open right now. So we're, uh, we're doing pretty good right now. Which is good. Right now the man's, well, he's sleeping through lunch. <laughs> 